Hi everyone, today I'm trying out something very different, so I'll be doing a vlog. I am actually doing a commission shoot tomorrow, however, we have the opportunity to set up today. So I want to take you guys with me while I am setting up and we're going to be shooting in a place called Cultura in SM Mega Mall. So we're going to be doing some headshots of some, of some prominent Filipino women in their own industry. And that's why I felt that I might not be able to do a proper uh, tutorial tomorrow. So I decided, hey, why not try a new vlog format? And you guys let me know if you like this new format and I might do more of it in the future. So today, what, do you, what can you expect? Basically, I'll show you all the equipment that I'll be taking, which is a lot, but I don't really need all of them. But normally, whenever I am doing something like this, especially if it's the first time I'm doing it, I tend to bring in more than what I really need. So I already have a vision in my head on how I want to light the scene. However, it's always best to be really prepared. So, okay, so let's see how this one will turn out yeah. all right so we just arrived in the loading dock and i'm here with kitty bunag another and kitty's husband i'm sorry i forgot carlo, carlo there carlo and of course my wife coco is here also and here we're about to unload this is everything that's in the back of the car there we go let's see there so kitty is gonna be our stylist today tomorrow actually and photographer and she's testing out the ZV-1 also for vlogging. So the nan lights are in full force. Here. We've got the 300B here, a couple of them. The 60s, the 150. Of course, we've got the Pro Scrim. Got another 300 there. Can't wait to set this one up. This is really the less glamorous part of the job, right? Yeah, having to go through our part of the yes this is having <laughs> to go through the back route in order for us to get to Welcome where we're headed Biggie. thank you so these are the things that you guys don't see every time we're shooting you always have to load through the back entrance okay and this will be our playground beautiful cultura in SM Mega Mall. Yes, this is actually a project of Cultura together with Sony Philippines. Katie there is also a brand ambassador of Sony Philippines. Amazing, amazing stylist. You should check out her page. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so we'll just set up now. So this is what we have to work with. This is going to be the amazing backdrop that was set up by Kitty. Initially, there were a lot of stuff that were here, but we had them moved right there. So here are the nice things that you're working with them. You could have things removed. And there, this is the outfit for tomorrow, correct? Some of the, some of the samples. That's what we're going to be wearing. It's very detailed. and They're all hand embroidered. Very nice. So the challenge is to shoot this against sort of neutral backdrop well it's not see. when you really look at it exactly, it's not because right? this one is very light compared very light. you could already see it here in the video yep. here kitty i'll show you look at how it looks like in the video oh, yeah, yeah. It, there's already a lot of contrast so yeah. long as we so now you could already see what we're thinking of this background here has to be in a darker shade than the subjects themselves so that for them to be able to pop out but you know the transition from the, those contracts will be very seamless with given, this one given all the texture. that's fantastic i'm, I'm so excited so to excited shoot this also, this thing casts the nicest shadows this one and and, and foreground grab it grab yeah it. So. it's actually you know um i, I can already see what's going to happen tomorrow we're gonna get we're gonna get our shots that are needed and then we start playing yep. and maybe we should play for ourselves and not for them <laughs> are we wearing our sony jackets yeah we have to uh -huh. we have to wear our sony jackets so here so there okay, hold on. should be a lot of fun and again let me walk back and that's how the scene looks like so i'll take you through the setup later but basically what i'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna cast the shadow on these bags here, overpower the existing ambient light with my continuous light and have maybe the nan light projection mount so that I can have some lights and shadows there in the back. And then I'll probably put a scrim right here, here on this side. 
with the Nanlite 300B. And the reason why I'm shooting with continuous light this time, wait, let me show you myself. So, and the reason why I'm shooting with continuous light is because we're also going to be shooting a video for Sony. So, yeah. So, hi. You know, it's been it's been a long time coming because of the pandemic. We haven't really been able to shoot. Yep. And this is something that we've been looking forward to doing. And it's nice that Sony actually sponsored the shoot also together with Cultura. Okay, so we have the scrim set up here. Sorry, That's going to serve us our main light. Can you tell us again what that light is? This what scrim is basically a diffuser. It's going to mimic the look of a beautiful window light. So if you notice the size, it's about six and a half feet by six and a half feet, if I'm not mistaken. So imagine having a window this big for that you can bring everywhere you want you want to go. That would be my green light for this setup. Which you actually do already, Kitty, with your with the way you light. You remember you have your Photix Noada R4 and then you have the diffuser panel inside right. your 5 in 1. Yep. This is just a big brother so of that. This is a bigger scale version. Yes. We don't want to do mixed lighting. So we're basically just removing all these lights so that all the light will be coming from here. Our streams already working and we have the projection mount over there. This one's gonna look nice. Very challenging. Yes. To, uh, to light up or to shoot inside a store. Exactly. To see the so am I. Okay. Ooh, I like it better with the. Okay. I think we have everything set up here. This is how we ended up lighting up this scene. You see, yeah. this is overly complicated for a very simple light setup. And let me run you through the entire light setup and I'll show you some samples. Here you go. Okay, all right. So we have a that light Pavo Troop 2 30X here. The purpose of this one is just for fill light. Then we have the brand new Sony F46RM right here. This is the brand new flash, the Sony F46RM mounted on the Magmod Maxu. And then we have another one here. This is the F60RM2 from Sony. Again, mounted on the Magmod Maxu with a Mag Spear and the Mag Grid. Now, these two are our flash units, right? These two. They will serve as our main light, but we needed to create a beautiful ambient light first that we can control. And that's the purpose of this one, the NAND light, and this Pro Scrim from Manfrotto. Let me show you what's behind the Pro Scrim. I have two NAND light 300 Ps, both though giving different directions of light. One is going here and one is towards the main light of the face. And finally, we have this Forza 150 here with a projection mount to create that pattern over there. Let me show you, come, 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 come. Let me show you. That's the pattern over there that's being created. Now, let me show you how it looks like. Right now, this is how it looks like. My settings are 1 over 60, F2.8, ISO 100, and that is ambient light only. Okay, I'll show you the picture right now. You don't need to zoom, Koi. We'll show them the picture. This is the output. And now we'll put the flash. And that is the one with flash. So what I will do is I will make my assistant be the one there so I get the outfit because the whole point of this one is for the outfit. So this is how it looks again without flash. There we go. That's without flash with ambient light only. Well ambient light that we created over there. And this is the output with flash. That's why I underexposed everything in order for the subject to pop. And this one, the nice contrast, even though more or less they're in the same color tone, which was what concern of the client that it's in the same color tone. However, just by proper lighting, you can make it pop. And of course, amazing styling by this girl right here. Hey. There, that's Kitty. This thing right here, wait, um, see? That thing right there is her creation. There. Yay. Okay which everything was pocketed out. <laughs> We're new to vlogging. All right.
Okay, so this is the final stage. Basically, it's a good thing we have Coco here, who will be our stand-in model. So let's see how it looks like. If you mind moving here. See, at least there's a vlog always complete when you're in it, right? Okay. With no makeup and no styling, oh, it looks good. Hello. 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 I love my voice. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh. Right. So nice. One more. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this new format. And if you guys did, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, Kitty, come here. Thank you very much, Kitty. This is her project. Actually, I'm just here hey. for. Uh, oh, I'm here along project. for the ride. And hopefully yeah. the mic is good because I don't yeah. know how this mic we'll is. We'll find out. So we'll find out. We'll find out later. Yeah. And again, don't forget if you like this, if you like this new format, do let me know in the comment section below. And of course, till the next video. Okay. Bye, guys.